सो हेलो गाइज हियर वी हैव क्वेश्चन नंबर फोर फ्रॉम चेक योर अंडरस्टैंडिंग ऑफ ई एम आई एंड ए सी चैप्टर फ्रॉम द पाथ फाइंडर एंड दिस वॉज अगेन रिक्वेस्टेड बाई सम वन सो यार लेट स्टार्ट अ वुडन बॉबिन कंसिस्ट ऑफ टू को एक्शियल सिलेंडर्स द इनर सिलेंडर इज ऑफ रेडियस आर एंड द आउटर सिलेंडर इज ऑफ रेडियस कैपिटल आर अ कंडक्टिंग वायर पी क्यू इज रैप्ड ऑन द आउटर सिलेंडर पासिस थ्रू अ स्मॉल होल इन इट एंड देन इट इज रैप्ड ऑन द इनर सिलेंडर इन द सेम सेंस नाउ द बॉबिन इज प्लेस ऑन हॉर्जोंटल टेबल where a uniform and constant magnetic field b exists parallel to the axis of the bobbin if one end p of the wire is fixed on the table top and the other end q is pulled horizontally with a constant velocity u as shown in the figure the bobbin rolls without slipping an ideal voltmeter is connected between the end p and a stationary sliding contact s find the moduli of electromotive forces induced in each of the coils trapped in the bobbin hence or otherwise find the reading of the voltmeter so basically here we have to apply faraday's law which states that the voltage generated will be uh, d phi by dt where phi is the flux due to the magnetic field through the coil so here we will find the uh, electro ele- first in the first part we have to find the electromotive forces in uh, outer coil and the inner coil so first of all let us find the omega of this cylinder the omega can be uh, the expression for omega can be uh, written as as there is a no slipping condition we get omega r times capital r minus small r equals to u so from here omega equals to u by r minus small r this is written as assuming this is the uh, instantaneous center of rotation and i have written the velocity of this point on the uh, bobbin and let's say the flux through the outer sphere or the outer cylinder uh, phi outer will be equals to b times pi r square multiplied by the number of turns or uh, the number of turns can also be written as l over 2 pi r where well, i have assumed that the l is the length of the wire wrapped on the outer uh, outer coil and similarly phi inner will be equals to b times pi times small r square times l over 2 pi r here capital l and small l can be different so from here the emf induced in the outer and inner coils can be written as e outer will be equals to d phi outer over dt which will be equals to b capital r over 2 multiplied by dl by dt and here the dl by dt can be observed to be omega times capital r because uh, the here the uh, conducting wire will be unwinding from the outer sphere at a rate of uh, omega times capital r and similarly uh, emf induced in the inner inner uh, inner cylinder will be d phi inner over dt which will be equals to b r by 2 times omega r times small r and substituting here the values of omega we can get the value of e outer and e inner so this is the answer for part a and for the part b we have to find the reading of the voltmeter which will be uh, now and here we can see that the uh, outer cylinder is actually unwinding the uh, coil and inner cylinder is uh, taking up coil so the uh, direction of flux in both are different so the direction of emf in both is different so the reading of the voltmeter will be the difference of these two so from here reading of voltmeter will be equals to e outer minus e inner which can be given as b omega by 2 multiplied by capital r square minus small r square and substituting here the value of omega which is u over capital capital r minus small r b u by 2 times capital r plus small r this is the final answer and in the final answer of the book here a negative sign was given and uh, i feel that it is a wrong answer because they have found the same values for e inner and e outer as follows but uh, in the reading of voltmeter they have made uh, i think an error here and there should be a plus sign here thank you that's the final answer